Call of Duty has been around for ages. Every single one of us has played one of these games. And for a lot of you, some of the most pivotal gaming moments in your life was with one of these games. I'm old, so I grew up with the first Call of Duties, but if you're super young and grew up with the new Modern Warfare, either way, you remember your first Call of Duty like it was yesterday. But I'm not here to tell you that your favorite Call of Duty is good. We are not the same. This Call of Duty tier list will all be 100% my opinions. So if you disagree, just let me know in the comments, but be nice about it. It's not that deep. It's just Call of Duty. I will also be ranking every Call of Duty based on both their campaign and multiplayer, as well as side stuff like zombies and spec ops. So some games will be higher or lower based off the campaign alone. And I'll also do my best to not spoil any of the campaigns since some of these games have crazy twists that are better experienced on your own. So without further ado, let's rank every Call of Duty from worst to best. Uh, today is, uh, shoot, like, I, I don't know what day it is, just know that I just uploaded a Call of Duty tier list, and people are out for blood. They don't like where I place their favorite Call of Duty. It's just an opinion, okay? Oh god, here they come. Let's just get this out of the way. I never played the original Call of Duty. I'm willing to bet that almost none of you have, so I'm not putting it on this tier list. So with that out of the way, the worst COD game is... I made a full review of this game, you can check it out later, but long story short, this campaign is dumb, the story is so over the top with terrible writing and one note villains and characters. Most Call of Duty campaigns have the benefit of being forgettable, but this one, I can never forget how stupid it was. I usually don't care about historical accuracy, but it was so hard to ignore in this game. The multiplayer was awful, the maps were terrible, spawn camping was rampant as well as normal camping, and with some overpowered abilities to boot, it was just an unenjoyable multiplayer experience that I stopped playing after a couple days. And the zombies might be the worst iteration of zombies ever made. I'm just glad the world collectively moved on from this game. I feel like you might think that I hate the Second World War, but that's not my issue. I think this setting can lead to some great storytelling, but I couldn't tell you a thing about this story at all. At least it was kind of historically accurate. The multiplayer was also forgettable. Nothing that was god awful, but setting yourself in the past really limits the creativity you have with modern Call of Duties. They tried to introduce more of a class system over a creator class, but I don't think it worked that well, especially since previous games just kind of did it better. But in the future, this type of class system would be fleshed out and made a lot better in the modern games. Moving on. I love the character of Ghost, but this game, coming right after so many Infinity Ward classics, just felt like a letdown. I like that you could play as a dog, that's nice. And the introduction of the Extinction Mode was cool, I guess, but besides that, you already forgot this game existed, didn't you? Yeah, you did, don't lie. The worst of the original Modern Warfares. Unlike its predecessors, the campaign was laughably dumb. Not even the GOAT, Captain Price, would save this one. And the multiplayer didn't change anything, while forcing us to play on some of the worst maps in Call of Duty history. Also, this game just looks like really green and gray. It's depressing to look at. They removed kill streaks and introduced point streaks instead, which, okay, I like that. But no nuke? Instead, we got a Moab? More like no abs, am I right? Yeah, this game was cockadoodoo. Everybody who played Call of Duty 2 were in for a surprise when this game came out, because it was that game, but worse in almost every way. 90% of people played this on consoles without any multiplayer. Seriously, it came out for Wii and PS2. Why? The previous game was a launch title for the Xbox 360. It went backwards. The campaign was fun, I guess, but not even close to how good later campaigns were, and not even close to how good Call of Duty 2's campaign was. Sorry to those of you that played this game on PS2 or Wii, you never got to experience its mediocre multiplayer multiplayer. And honestly, you're better off for it. Players at this point were over the jetpack and double jump mechanics and wanted a return to form after this. But I don't know, I think this game wasn't as bad as y'all remember it. It definitely wasn't on the top of the list. The campaign was kinda bad, and even cool actors like Kit Harington couldn't save it. You know nothing, Jon Snow! But the multiplayer was unique and a step in a cool direction. And it showed because people bought this game over Titanfall 2, which released within a month of it. I wish I was in an alternate universe where Titanfall 2 sold more copies than this game, but man, 2016 was a different time. Overall, mid. 
The multiplayer was fine. Okay, it was mediocre. Literally the most cookie cutter multiplayer ever. It's forgettable, but the zombies mode was cool. What puts this in the middle of the pack and not at the bottom is its dope campaign. The campaign was okay at first, but at the end, it genuinely blew my mind. I love games where choices can matter, and this game delivered. You'll see that Black Ops campaigns are all kind of nuts when we get further into this list. This game's campaign hasn't, uh, aged well. But it wasn't that bad, but nothing as memorable as some of the better campaigns on this list. And the multiplayer was also fine. At the time, this was Call of Duty's first attempt at a full-on movement shooter, and some people really liked it, while others hated it. I just think most people just weren't ready for how cool movement shooters should be. The UI being all holograms is super cool, the gunplay was nice, the futuristic setting is something I wish Call of Duty would come back to. This game had a decent multiplayer and fun mechanics that were trying to rival the recently released Titanfall 1, and it worked. Everyone forgot about Titanfall and Call of Duty stayed on top. But yeah, I have much fonder memories of this game, so it's in the middle of the rankings. Also, Exozombies was tight, I don't care what you say. The newest Modern Warfare 2 is the sequel to the new Modern Warfare, and it's literally just a carbon copy, with some cooler maps and a small tweak to the movement. It's by no means a terrible Call of Duty, but it lacks any real innovation, and that's what holds it back. Also, the campaign is like a Michael Bay film. It's dumb, but really fun if you turn your brain off. So this just gets brownie points because it's piggybacking off of the new Modern Warfare, which is pretty good. This game had no campaign, but it introduced Blackout, the first battle royale for Call of Duty. At the time, people didn't seem to like it as much as other BRs, but in retrospect, a lot of people think it was underrated, myself included. The multiplayer was fine, it reintroduced specialists from the previous entry, but besides that, it wasn't a game changer by any means. Blackout is hard carrying this game for sure. This was the return to form that Call of Duty needed. It overhauled its gameplay back to basics. Captain Price and Soap were back, and also microtransactions. Yay! So while the actual gameplay was a solid return to form with giant steps in the right direction, it also became an even bigger cash cow from this point on. That's modern gaming for you. <laughs> This campaign slapped. I love where it went. Its ending is incredible. I enjoyed this campaign way more than I thought I would. The multiplayer was also an improvement on the wall running formula with specialists being introduced. However, it got stale rather quickly, and some of the mechanics were a bit annoying to deal with as a player. The zombies was also a bit more forgettable this time around, with it being a bit overplayed by this point in time, but I can't deny that it's an overall enjoyable experience. One word, zombies. Zombies changed the game. It was so fun, and it made this game super replayable. The multiplayer was a step down from its predecessor, as was the campaign, but who cares when you got zombies, my guy? Enough said. This game is the first real Call of Duty. Its campaign introduces to Captain Price's ancestor? Or is he a time traveler? I don't know. Each mission felt so hard and iconic. The multiplayer was so fresh for the time, with incredible maps and gunplay. It hasn't aged well, like you won't see me playing this game today, but its legacy needs to be understood. It's a great Call of Duty and one of the best campaigns in the franchise. This is undoubtedly one of the best Call of Duties ever made. It has some of the most iconic maps like Hijacked and Raid. It has borderline perfect gameplay, super fun zombies, and a pretty damn good campaign to boot. This game did not miss, and it was my most played Call of Duty by far, but I won't pretend that my bias isn't in the way for me properly ranking it. It did make improvements to the Call of Duty formula, but not in a way where it changed the game. It perfected it, but at this point, Call of Duty was already pretty much there, so it wasn't that hard to do. Either way, Black Ops 2 is amazing. One of the best campaigns ever made. The numbers, Mason! Zombies was improved drastically, and you can play as John F. Kennedy? Cause why not? It was our first time in the Cold War era, a new backdrop that Call of Duty had never been to before. Its multiplayer was so incredible with arguably the most iconic map in a video game ever in Nuketown. And don't get me wrong, that's just one map. There's plenty of other maps like Firing Range, Summit. I could keep going on and on. It's all bangers. This game is the first time that Treyarch felt like it was on par with Infinity Ward. At this point, it felt like every Call of Duty, not just Infinity Ward's Call of Duties, would be good. 
This is my favorite Call of Duty game of all time. Its campaign somehow was almost as good as its predecessor, and its multiplayer, in my opinion, was perfection. The maps like Terminal and High Rise always bring back so much fun memories. 360 no scoping on Rust will forever be cemented into my brain. Spec Ops, Akimbo shotguns, Ninja Diffusing, TACTICAL NUKE INCOMING! I have too many fond memories with this game, and it's why it's my number two. But the final Call of Duty, I won't deny, is the Call of Duty that changed everything for gaming. Period. And now, our number one Call of Duty is... Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare is the first ever Modern Warfare game. It took realism to the next level, while changing the Call of Duty formula forever. It introduced Create a Class, something that you take for granted, but it wouldn't be here without this game. Its multiplayer was the first time we ever fought in a Modern War setting, which is both exciting and crazy to think that no one had done it like Call of Duty 4 before. Don't get me wrong, there were other games that did it, but at this scale and at this quality, we have never seen anything like it. The campaign is the best Call of Duty campaign of all time. Too many insanely iconic missions to count, from all gillied up, to getting freaking nuked, to finally saving the day. It was like a first person movie. It changed everything forever, for better or for worse. It was the first game that made me stop playing Halo 3 for a while. And if you know me, you'll know that that's crazy. Regardless, if you agree with its place, you can't deny how important this game was not just to Call of Duty, but to gaming as a whole. And that's why Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare is the best Call of Duty ever. So, do you agree with my list? If not, rank the Call of Duties in the comments. Or just tell me what you think is the worst one and which one you think is the best. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you later.